Hi, it's your girl Vigo and yes, I'm back again with another one. If you're new, join the family, don't sleep on it. And to my returning friends, you all are just too much. You give me wings and I not only love but also appreciate each and every one of you. Newbies, yay! Don't fail to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. You can also be found on Instagram and on Facebook, so come on by and chat up your girl. Yeah, you guessed right. Today's project is how to make candles. Not just plain old candles, but scented candles. Now, I don't know about you, but I love burning scented candles. Candles in general can be easy to make when you get the hang of it. But to make quality candles, which you could start a good business with, there's some science you must understand. Not a lot, just a bit. This is an introductory tutorial to candle making. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to my channel so as to not miss out. <sighs> Enough already. <laughs> now let's go make scented candles. <laughs> Here, I'm measuring out my wax. And here's my wax all measured out and ready for action. I do feel the need to let you know that there are so many variants of candle waxes. There's paraffin wax, there's coconut wax, there is palm wax, etc. Aha, and then there are the blends. For example, um, there is parasoy blend, which is a blend of paraffin wax and soy wax. This wax that you see me using here is soy wax. A lot of people prefer using soy wax over paraffin wax for candle making because being a plant-derived product, they consider it cleaner and um, more sustainable than paraffin wax which is a byproduct of petroleum me personally <laughs> i find that debatable but that will be talks for another day i've got two jars for my candle they are both clean and dry and now let's prep them So what I'm doing here is sticking my pre-waxed wigs to the jars so they won't go swimming around when I pour. If you're going to make this, do your best to position the wig in the middle of the jar. These sticks are here to keep the wigs upright and in place. I do have clips for the job, but I forgot to take them out in readiness for this video, so I am simply using this bamboo kebab sticks, which I always have handy for various reasons, such as you are going to see later on in this video.
To melt my soy wax for the candle, I'm going to be using the double boiler method. If you're going to be making candles, whatever utensils you intend using must be dedicated to candle making alone. You cannot use the same utensils for making skincare, hair care, or anything else, and definitely not for cooking. Now I just place some water over low heat and let the wax sit in it. While the wax is melting, a smart thing to do right now would be to go down and subscribe to this channel, that is if you haven't already done so. You know I like having you watch things get transformed, so enjoy the process. Measuring out my fragrance.
All right, so the idea was to make a plain colored candle, but I couldn't help myself. I just had to pop some colors in there. <laughs> Looks pretty easy, right? Of course, it certainly does. But to make quality candle which you can sell and make good money from, there are some science that you must understand. Which is another reason why you should be subscribing to my channel because the fact is there are so many things which I'd like to share with you. And um, my goal is to empower as many people as I can. And that wraps it up for today. If you want more tutorials on candle making or any other products, let me know. Until next time, stay beautiful. <laughs>